Welcome, this is William Dirk Johnson with RPG A Day 26. What hobbies go well with RPGs? Almost anything, really. Um, if you are an outdoors type, you know, like hiking, tramping, then you'll get a sense of what it is like for your characters to go hiking and tramping. You can pretend that they are abysmally strong movie heroes and transhumans. But you still get an idea of you know just how difficult it is to get over things, how you, how much you can see in a group of trees and so forth. So that's a useful thing to know. How much you can carry. Those sort of things. Where, where things go. How things. How you can pack, lay yourself down. Weigh yourself down. What everything weighs. Um, metal weapon fighting is also useful. You can actually get a feel for how the weapons actually work. What armor um, actually feels like. Yeah. You know, find the current iterations of many fantasy games they seem to be based off other fantasy games not actual reality and while the scholarship of some of the original games was laughably bad they at least tried they they, they did they did some research they tried um, sometimes they were quite bad but you know they tried they they actually went to primary school they actually went to at least primary and secondary sources. And, but if you've got an idea of, you know, what you can actually do in chain, what chainmail actually feels like when you wear it, and how quickly, how quickly it is to get off, it is really easy to get off, it's actually quite easy to get on as well. Um, or what you can do, what you can and cannot do in plate mail. You can do cartwheels in plate mail, you can climb trees, you can ride a bike, you can do practically everything in well fitted set of armour. It just gets hot, it gets stinky. But otherwise, you know, it's good stuff. Uh, you get an appreciation for what weapons are like, how they move, what they do, what, how important it reaches. You'll find out that a two-handed sword is actually an amazingly fast weapon. <laughs> you can attack really quickly with it. And because once you learn how to move it and how to use your mass, your body mass to affect move as a pit and a, as a pivot to move the weapon around, you find out you can actually get you can actually get that thing really moving. It's not a slow weapon. It's also got an amazing reach. You can suddenly use it as a spear. Uh, you learn about other tactics. You learn about half sorting, where you either grab the a blade halfway down so you can guide the tip into some weak point, or you reverse or you reverse the grip and you bludgeon the death with the pommel. These are both viable fighting tactics, and it sort of brings into dispute this classification of weapons into either you know weapons which pierce you, weapons that bash you, weapons that cut you. Most weapons can do all three. And some weapons, you know, like your average Warhammer. What a Warhammer actually looks like. It doesn't look like a classic representation of a Yolna. It actually looks like your Warhammer. Made a bit bigger. You know, your standard bat, bat, bat hammer. It's a big one of those. And often has, has a spike on the end. And can often have a blade at the back. And that is a weapon. So, metal weapon fighting is a useful thing. Especially for fantasy games. Because you actually get a feel for how all these things work and what they're like and that prompt, did prompts you know so we would write their own games um a rune quest is based off um the author's experiences in the sca and other metal weapon groups and to write a game which more reflected what happened in combats and have a combat system like that and that giants would best actually demolish you um, other things, you, you should be well read um, in either non-fiction or fiction itself, so you get an idea of either how fiction tropes work, how things go, how, how stories flow, or how just things work, how, what, why people did things in the, histori in the historical sense, what happened, how, does, how do things work, all those things are very useful. So yes, many, think, many hobbies are useful, many hobbies that give you that shine a light on what your character is doing. Um, so yes, knowing about th yes, it's hobbies which you know provide information either about what your character is doing or what what they can do, what they cannot do. That's often very useful. It adds a level of very similar to the game. You it, it heightens the suspension of disbelief if the things which should act like the things do in real life do behave like that and are not just some weird game mechanic which has been pulled out of the ether or based on previous game mechanics so 
yes, things like tramping, hiking, reading, and actually playing with real weapons are all useful things for that to help shine a light on what goes on in your RPG. Thank you.